Hello, Wellness Center people. Anyone else who's watching? We're going to warm up for about three minutes, and then we're going to alternate three minutes of cardio. You can do an all low impact, but that doesn't mean necessarily not high intensity. And then we're going to alternate those cardio intervals with some strength. Mostly back to butts. How's that grab you? This is our cardio core combo. A little shortened. I wanted to do it outdoors, but it's going to be raining for the next two or three days. So, here we are, Cheyenne. No excuses, we can get our workout done. Just warming up for the next couple minutes. And then we'll end up, well, we will be using the floor, so you might want a mat. For sure, if you're on a concrete floor like I am. You might need a weight. Ideally, a kettlebell, but I don't have one, so I'm using a 20-pound dumbbell. You'll probably see me put it down sometimes. That's an option for you as well. All of these exercises are great with your body weight. You'll want some water, maybe a towel if you get sweaty. Okay. Let's rehearse a couple of fundamental moves that we're going to do. You can always watch for the first couple of seconds. Then once you know you've got it, you can do it, and I'll watch you virtually. Okay, one fundamental move is a squat. Feet around hip width or a little wider. Dig your heels in, hips go back. Head stays up, keeping all parts of your feet firmly rooted. Tuck your tailbone under and squeeze at the top. We'll add a lot of different things to this, but that's kind of fundamental. Another one is hip abduction. When we do that, keep that foot dorsiflex. Use the side muscles of your hips, gluteus medius, and the TFLs. Good, march it out. There's another fundamental uh, position that we'll use a lot. I'll show you from the side. Hip with third or neutral stance. We're just going to do a little lunge. Maintaining that verticality in the spine. Lower. This is a rear lunge. If your knees and hips and abilities permit you, take it lower. Just don't drive your knee into the cement floor. Good, march it out. Let's see what other fundamental positions we'll use. We will be doing a lot on the floor, but a lot, a little. So when we go to the mat, take your time, watch first. Let's get this little cardio combo party started. And let's start with a little bit of strength work. Now, we're gonna use our body weight or an extra weight. And again, ideally a kettlebell would be great. So we're just going to hold it for some rear right foot lunges. So just the right leg. Balances everything. Keep the head up. Helps if you spot a point across the wall. Now I'm not big on counting, but if you like to count, I'd say shoot for 12 to 15. We'll get that arm working later, so don't work it yet. We're going to do a lower body exercise, and then we're going to do a core exercise, which we're about to do, and then we'll add an upper body exercise to our lower body. So this is our first lower or core exercise. We're going to come down, flat back, walk it out to a plank, there we go. Squeeze those glutes. Push the belly out between your shoulder blades. Breathe and tuck those knees in. So you can do the plank. Option number one. Knee to the chest. Option number two. Or you could go mountain climber. You can hips down. You got it. I don't know what you do it. Keep going. Just 15 more seconds. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's 
go back to that rear right leg lunge. We're going to add a right arm row. One arm row. You can support your back here. You could just tap forward and back without the uh, one arm row. Or you can row. If the forward back is too much for you, here's another option. Lunge dip. Just do your best. Keep your head and chest up. Maybe four more. Remember, you can be here too. Four. Three. Two. One. Kind of a weak row. Okay. Back to the floor, and then we're going to do it on the left side. You ready for these? Plank. Knee tucks. Four mountain climbers. But keep your hips low. Breathe. Look at the mat. And if you want, kick it into high gear. Keep those hips down. Keep going. Make sure you push that belly out between your shoulder blades on the side. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we're having fun. Left leg lunge, with or without the weight. Squat the on the wall. Step back, just like that. Weight hang. Lunges are kind of like a one arm push up for your butt. Good. How about four more? And ready for that mat again? Ready or not, if you don't like the plank work, you could also substitute any of this. Standing. But give me your best. You could also do it from your knees, but keep those hips down. So push the valley out from between your shoulder blades. This is a short, high plank. You can also do a long, low plank. You see it. You have to lift your hips though to get your knees in. But this is an option. And the full on option is here. Oh, ha! Hips down. Breathing. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! Easy on your way up. If you ever feel dizzy, fold back down. All right. Last set with the left leg in the lunge. And we're gonna use that left one arm row. And chest up. You can tap back. Step forward. You can add that one arm row. Or you can do a lunge dip. Try not to rotate the pelvis. Try to keep the head and chest up as much as possible. Remember, you got options. How about four more? Three, two, ooh, 20 pounds is a lot. You can always put it down. Get a sip of water if you like. Keep those feet moving. We're going to stay in the air, but we're going to concentrate on abdominals. With a nice wide, actually, start in neutral. I'll show you a low impact jack. Yeah? I'm on the cement floor. If your knees are sensitive, you might not want to jump. But if you don't mind jumping, jacks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, stay wide in a sumo squat. Tuck your booty under, drop it down. We're just going to do eight of these side flexions for your obliques. Good, four. Three, squeeze those glutes. Two, back to our chest, yeah? 
Just eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Other side. Nice so loud. Tuck the hips under. Shoulders over. Hips. Working those obliques. Breathe because there's an isometric going on here. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Let's do some more of those. How about eight? You can go low. For four. Three. Two. Sumo squat. Tuck the hips. This time, rotation. You can go slow, but no movement below the navel. Or reduce the range and go faster. Again, no wiggly hips. Three. Good. Four. Three. Two. Jack it out. Ooh, that was loud. Eight more jacks. Sumo squat, hips tucked, drop it down, rotate maybe shoulders down, longer arms, more. Good. Or you could show up to the range of motion. Oh my god, all friends, maybe you're receiving pass. Or uh, you're passing. Good. Woo, shake it out. We're going to do another strength set. This one, I'm reading my notes across the room, can you tell? We're going to do our goblet squat with the weight or without. This is a lot easier with kettlebells, so do your best. Hip width are slightly wider. Hips go back as you attempt to tap your elbows on your knees. Hold that leg close to you. Down with control, up with power. Tuck your hips under. This is our lower body of the triplet. Lower body, core, upper body. Come. How about four more? You can always put that weight down. Last one. All right. We're going to do a little kettlebell swing here. Now, this isn't the right grip, so if you see me struggle with it or put it down, it's because it's not particularly safe. Kettlebell swings. Get your tailbone back. Back long and strong. Do your best. Don't let it hang too much at the top. Drive your heels down. Push your knees back. Shove your hips forward. Give it all you got. How about ten more? Four more. Three, two, one. Good. Ah, all right. Let's squeeze in another core exercise, shall we? So floating your knees or tapping them down, pull the navel in, and then see if you can tap the alternate knee or opposite. Keep the head down or face towards the mat, butt low. This is harder than it looks. Great core exercise. Keep going. I want to see you. Five more seconds. Four. Here's a long seconds. Three. Two. One. Awesome. Let's do our goblet squat. But this time we're going to have a shoulder press. So get a good, good grip. Get that tailbone back. Tap the knees. Head up. Up the roof. Exhale up. How about six 
once more. Five. Four. Let the knees drift together. Three. Two. Woo! That's a good old body exercise. Ready for those bear crawls? I mean, not crawls, bear taps. You can do it in the air. But come on down to an all fours, flat back, wrists on your shoulders, tuck your toes, float your knees, tap, tap. Lengthen the spine. Zip up your tightest trousers. Brace and breathe.
burpees. You can always substitute. Well, I'll show you incrementally. So, if you're able to hold this carefully, without dropping on your toes, feet about hip width or a little wider, soft bend the knees, hold the navel in, down with a flat back, push the knees back, hips forward. Down with control, up with power. We're only going to do about 10 of these. And then we're going to go right to our upright row. Two more. And now we're going to add an upright row. So take your time. This is how we look really heavy things in real life. Wait, this is real life. Your elbows should look like a Y near the top. You should not have pain in your shoulder. Either one. Flat back, down control, up with the loop. Woo! About four more. Hold the navel in, you got this. Definitely don't look down, it'll fall on your toes. Okay, now burpees. I don't want to scare you. You don't have to do the full on Navy SEAL favorite exercise. But what we're going to do is get to it incrementally. Those of you who know how to do it, go for it. We got a minute here, folks. Ready? So we're going to come down, touch, and then come up and reach. That's step one. I'm going to get to the head of my mat. We're going to go down, touch, right leg back, up, reach. Do it with the left. Try both if you want to. Woo! Try a little, a little hop. Woo! If you feel froggy, you can leap higher. I can't. If you want, you can add a push up. Woo! And you keep going because. I'm watching you. You got 15 more seconds. Do your best. Breathe. When you're done, you'll know it. <laughs> you're out of gas. And then just get up easy. If you're dizzy, stay down. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Up easy. Catch your breath. Move your feet. I'm going to do that series again. And then our last little triplet will be on the ground. So get ready for set number two of your deadlifts. This time we're going to stay, well, I'll show you when we get there. Soft bend in the knees, pull the knee in. Keep those shoulders in the back pockets. Drive your knees back. Try to rest your arms for now. Too heavy for me to do. 
Keep your back firmly pushing into the ground. Keep your head on the ground. Lengthen the back of the neck. And lower your legs as far as you can without losing that abdominal brace. Now, if you want to challenge, you can take that weight over your head. Yeah, that's not as bad as I thought. I'll say that now. Leg down to a really good abdominal without straining the neck. Breathe, exhale. As you bring that overhead weight up above your chest. Hold that knee when you've got this. Do your best. How about eight more? Seven. Uh oh, that's the pull down music. Six. <laughs> I say that all the time. Five. Four. Three. Oof, I feel bad. I'm just gonna leave that weight up there. We're gonna finish with some sideline, or uh, actually a rolling plank. So set up, you might wanna be in your low, long plank. Breathe, push that belly out between your shoulder blades, look at the mat. Feet about eight inches apart so that you can roll your feet to the side with that hip. From here, if you want, you can try a little hip abduction. Down, don't, hit, don't kick the bottle. <laughs> How about just two more? Ooh, that was hard for me, especially when I kicked the bucket. Squeeze those glutes together. Pull your navel in. Last time to the side. Lift that hip. Good ankle strength there. Add this hip abduction. Do you have one that gets tighter than the other? That's 
very normal. You're gonna feel this, but it shouldn't hurt. Let's see. Crossing that left over the right. Draw the navel in. Draw the knee closer to the chest. Get a little gentle tug. Nothing ballistic, please. We don't want to hurt ourselves while we're trying to better ourselves. Okay, arms out into the T position. And keep those shoulders pasted to the floor as you slowly roll those hip hips. Two foot might be hanging in the air as you take a big deep breath. Exhale, look away on your knees or your feet. Some feet will touch the floor. It just depends on your limb lengths and your flexibility. Bring those back. Let's roll over. Come up nice and gently. Maybe enjoy a little downward dog calf stretch here. And it would be remiss of me if we did not get a good hip flexor quadricep stretch. You can lift that in this runner's lunge. Knee not too far ahead of the ankle, definitely not ahead of the toe. You can lower that rear knee and lift the chest. That hurts your knee, you don't want to do that. And let's get that other side. So we're hip flexor, quadricep, stretchy thing. So I hope you're staying well and you're using some of these resources that the Wellness Center at Antioch College has put together for you. It's a tough time for all of us. We need your support. If you can, just keep your dues coming. We'll get back on track as soon as we're able. Until then, be well at home and stay safe. Thank you.